Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Nolly, and welcome back to some more Destiny Chow. Oh my god, as you can see, they're doing a collaboration with Blaze Blue soon, and that's gonna be on the 30th. So we got like a, another week. So, yeah, boss raid is all, well, yeah, world boss is all gone now, all done. I already turned in my points and everything. I got at least one copy of her. That's at least what my goal was, to just at least get one copy. Uh, feels nice. And if you guys are wondering why it looks like this, no, I did not download the PC version or something like that. I just fixed my um, settings inside of my LD player. Um, I don't explain it. Does this show up on... No, okay, hold on. I don't even have a um, browser. In here, uh, let's see, where is my display? There it is. There we go. So what I did was just went into settings over here, went to basics, put this on, and put this on. And it just came out like this. Basically, most people play like this, but it was mostly inside of Bluestacks that could do it. LD player can do it now, from what I figured out. But we also have a new narrative dungeon. And I think new summons? Yeah of this character now, because she's the one that just snuck in, apparently. Uh, let's see what she has. Alright, Starry. She has... Let's see. First skill, deals damage. Also heals two allies. Priority, the lowest HP. Gains secret heal. Recovers 200 of HP each time the unit acts or it's attacked okay that's actually pretty good I like that just because you know the more you get attacked it's like kind of you know shrugging off damage a little bit if you can raise that like pretty damn high that'd be that'd be actually really good and it's also every time you do an action so it's kind of in a way the same way as life still but it's not because it's just like a set one instead of like taking how much damage you do which I think life still is a lot better when it comes to that. But, you know, this is actually pretty decent too. But, well, yeah, it does give you, like, kind of that survivability. But let's see. Uh, second skill, which is the slide skill. Deals damage and has a 75% chance of removing recovery block for three allies. And heals. Okay. That's actually pretty good for Arena because we all know who the hell is like really, really annoying for this. This character. If you run into her, oh my god, you're gonna get hill blocks by. <laughs> but right when she uses this, you would want to use that. You have a 75% chance of removing it, which is actually pretty decent to be honest. Because most other characters have like straight up 70 or 50 percent chance of removing it wait didn't um hold up where is my where's my filter on why is my filter on Pick that up. yeah i'm pretty sure snow miku also has a chance to remove bleed and i think hers is pretty low oh no okay it, it wasn't all that low as I was thinking. But yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Nothing too like amazing off that. But let's see what her drive is. Her drive is deal damage to two enemies. Two random enemies. And they don't prioritize. As a random regen for three okay, so regen three hundred to well three hundred plus. I should probably be saying that now since you can you know, up the skills and stuff. 300 plus HP to four allies. Priority lowest HP for 16 seconds and also gets them secret heal. Prioritize poison and ah, blah, words. Prioritizes poison to allies. So if your allies poisoned, it's gonna prioritize them. And not only that, they get a thousand each time they act or are attacked. That's actually really damn good. Yeah, that's like she's some really good sustain. I like that. She's also a wood type. 
I, I would say she's actually pretty decent, that's for sure. Uh, will I be summoning for her? Probably not. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see what um Blaze Blue has in store for us. You know, Blaze Blue was actually a really good game, to be honest. I don't, I don't you know what? Now that I think about it, did they ever finish the anime for Blaze Blue? I don't think they did. But we also got the narrative dungeon. Oh, actually, that outfit looks really damn nice. So I'm guessing that's their Pat Maker. I actually like this way of Destiny's Child a lot better just because I can see pretty much everything. Oh, I don't think you would be able to get the skin. Actually, that's one thing I haven't checked to see if they added in new, like, um, Labyrinth costumes. Okay, so what do we get out of this? Alright, we get some narrative badges here. And, okay, it's, it's the random select one. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is actually a really good one. I like this a lot better than the old narrative dungeon ways that they did it. To where you had to do it like a s real certain amount of times. This one's actually way quicker if you're like at least active for a week, I guess. That's at least what I want to say. Okay, I didn't click anything of the sort. Did we not? Uh, let's see. Oh, they did add in new stuff. Oh, nice. New arrivals. She has hers too. Okay. They're pretty much all their pad makers. Awesome. The designs look really good for their pat makers. That one for obvious reasons. Anywho. <laughs> I'm still wondering when the demeanor event is supposed to be coming by. Hers doesn't look that bad either. I think my favorite one is probably Diana's and this one. Why? Because of thickness. Anywho. <laughs> Well, actually, this one looks nice, too. That, that voice definitely does not fit, though, but you know. Hey. I don't know if I want to finish this one out or just refresh it, because I already got everything that I need off of it, and I'll be wasting here. I think I'm going to hold that one off until I at least get a lot more gems. Or another one of those uh, events to where you can refresh comes back. But, yeah, that's pretty much it in Destiny Child right now. I did want to try and find like a post or news about this. But I guess I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, she has a whole bunch of packs and stuff like that. Oh yeah, there's a defender um, summon also going on. So if you guys need any of these defenders, which is like, which they're actually pretty decent to be honest. Especially her if you have like a decent fire team that needs more damage. She's like a double-edged sword. To because that's literally what her, one of her skills is, pretty much double-edged. You increase damage, but you increase your defense. So if you need like somebody who can, you know, increase your attack, that's perfect. If you need Diana, Diana is like really good for pretty much everything. So, yeah, there you go there. Mars is also really good. She's pretty much like a replacement for Diana if you can't get her, or if Mars is, you know, plus higher. So, you can't go wrong with any of these tanks, to be honest. Oh, free summons. I didn't even realize. Let's go do a free summon. Right after I do this one. I think my freaking character bag is done. Well, it's full. I need to go check that before I try to summon. It's going to be like, no, dude, you can't do that. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I'm like way full. What? 
How have I been allowed to get away with this for so long? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm probably gonna use this guy soon. For like raids. As my leader at least. I'm not too sure though. I do need to start uncapping. I've been slacking. I won't even lie to you guys, I've been slacking. It's like I started getting into the events and I just start slacking off. Oh, Jupiter. I didn't even realize you had more copies, my guy. Ow. Look at my gold, man. <laughs> Say goodbye to all that gold. Ow. Ah, oh, my soul. Every time I do that. But just to keep you guys from, you know, overstacking. I might need to get rid of some of these extra four stars that I don't need. I only need two of you. Oh my god, how many of those do I have? You can tell I haven't been trying to get rid of any characters. <laughs> uh, I think this is also from when I was like summoning. During the event. Because when I would wake up, you guys would be done with like 40 or 50 freaking raids and I'm just sitting here like Jesus Christ did I really sleep that long like you guys are freaking animals when it comes to re when it comes to like uh, world bosses to be honest the more players we get the easier world boss is gonna be just cuz the more players dude the quicker we're gonna be finishing and getting like a whole bunch of That this you I think two of you I can get rid of. I have so many of these. Don't use you at all. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're not below. I don't even know why I have this. Like, what am I honestly going to do with this? That's the real question. Why am I... I <laughs> what am I honestly just going to... Just start leveling up a one star or something? Now nah, let's combine. I need to get rid of these small ones. That's going to be tedious. Or is that something else? I don't think it's anything else. I think it's just evolutions. And to get rid of some of these too, so I'm gonna start evolving some of the other ones once I get the gold. Right now, I'm not even gonna worry about it, dude. Euro is actually pretty damn decent if you um, if your change is not like at least plus three. Figured out like she's really damn good. Mine's is plus one, so my Euro's like kind of better right now especially since it's more of like at random instead of just focusing on my attackers why well, change is still I think higher right yeah hers is still way higher but if you don't want it to focus on just your attackers then I would go for um euro she's actually not that bad personally from my experience she's not that bad uh, I've broken I didn't even know I awakened that many times. Oh, I'm over here clicking on that. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Just because the whole landscape thing. Okay. So now, that's pretty much it. Is there anything inside of the mission passes that has changed? I have this character now. I had randomly summoned for her. Yeah, I got her. She's not she's not too bad to be honest. Wait, oh I was about to say, is this an event? I don't wanna buy that. I honestly don't. That seems like a lot of trouble. I haven't even started on my devil pass, dude. Cause I, I've honestly been thinking about buying into devil passes. But yeah. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought this was a guy because it's I thought that was a bulge right there. I was just like, wait a minute, hold on. 
Then, then the dialogue was talking about she, and I was just like, oh, okay, okay, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I had so many questions. I was like, hold on a second, this is weird. I've also thought about getting this, but they haven't added in like level 70. Debs, if you're seeing this, we need like a level 65, 70, and set. Yeah, level 65 and 70 added on to the level up stuff. I think you guys are missing out on that one. But, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking debated myself. I was supposed to be over here doing summons. <laughs> I was about to end off early for on you guys. Let's go ahead and skip and see if we got. Oh, we got a five star. What is it? Okay. To be honest, I don't even think I have that character. Yeah, this is my first time getting that character, I believe. Yeah, actually my first time getting this character. What is her skills? Barrier to one ally. Does it prioritize? Okay. Damage to two enemies, defense to Nora. Ally drive. Oh. Okay, so she's a good uh, drive booster. And used for raids. Okay, that's going to be pretty interesting to work on. If I get more copies of her. But yeah, hope you guys are doing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.